اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و خلل اقتتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی In the name of Allah the most glorious almighty that we know as the creator of all beings creator of all worlds uh, we are starting this uh, new series of discussion about uh, religion geopolitics and the disastrous situation of the mankind that the mankind is going through uh, we have been doing this discussion like um, in oh. our local language in urdu and we used to call it the batak batak in urdu means um, city a meet up a seating a casual get together so since it's quite cold over here and it's winter let's have this english discussion called uh, bonfire or fireside chat what do you yeah, yeah, would like you to say you can say pit fire or pit fire yeah no, yeah we are going to name it either bit pit fire yeah or bonfire or a fireside chat something like that yeah so since many people by now know us but if they still don't probably the english audience some of them might not know so why not uh, start by introducing ourselves my name is avas nasir and um, i'm a former software engineer technology entrepreneur and now i'm working full time as a public speaker and i i think of myself as a uh, as a student of knowledge and geopolitics and religion and with me is he is going to introduce himself yeah i'm akil askar um, originally i'm from kotli azad kashmir and uh, I've spent more than 16 years in United Kingdom and now I'm back to Pakistan. Uh, inshallah trying my best to um convey the message I'm, I'm I'm doing my best to deliver the message whatever is whatever the message is from Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim and uh, inshallah we'll carry on. Yeah over the coming talks we are going to talk about Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim and everything in between inshallah inshallah so i have hisar banaras always wrinkles on his forehead <laughs> but smiling most of the time from inside is hisar banaras and we have abdullah to see farid hamza a few of us over here that we zabiullah is missing zabiullah is missing so uh, not everyone is a uh, fluent english speaker over here so we it's uh, it's going to be since it's going to be a casual talk so it's okay if some of us do understand but when it's time to talk they talk in their local language it's okay so basically um what i would like to start Uh, start from is uh, is is a thing that makes me quite anxious and that thing is that all of the humanity right now stands at a ground zero uh, when it comes to intellect when it comes to sanity Uh, when it comes to humanity and when it comes to knowledge uh, i've come to realize that all of the human beings their population our population around the globe is at its peak since all of the known 
history. While the population is at peak, uh, we are standing at ground zero at the very, very basic level. We're standing on on the very base level of all of the positive values. Again, like I said, humanity, knowledge, justice, uh, everything is at ground zero. I don't want to uh, start from being so pessimistic, but uh, I would like to give a very quick snapshot of the world we are living in. Uh, the systems we follow as the very basic system we believe uh, it's uh, it's the democratic system and democracy says whatever the people like whatever the people choose is the law and practically democracy has failed itself we have ended up making our worst ones in charge of our affairs. Um, when it comes to peace and justice, we are being told the stories of uh, what happened in Germany, what Hitler did. We are made to read the history of what happened to the Native Americans. We are taught all of the negative things that happened in medieval times. But when it comes to learning from those historic events, we see the children being slaughtered every day. And I was we I was just taking a look at the stats. Right now, while we are sitting over here around a very cozy, warm uh, bonfire. So right now, while we are sitting at this cozy, warm bonfire so I was looking at the stats Israel is killing a child every 15 minutes and since October uh, when they started this recent uh, attack on Gaza thousands of people including children and women have been killed and if you take a look at this short clip that I'm going to show you right now This is some uh, rights group, uh, probably in uh, United Kingdom. They have tried to present how much destruction has been done. We are so used to uh, seeing the numbers uh, that a child being killed, people being killed uh, in wars has just become a number for us as long as we are living in peace. So in this short clip you have seen that if you put the clothes of the children killed since October uh, when this recent war started, if you put their clothes on ground next to each other, the queue would go as long as five kilometers long about five kilometers long 
if you just put the clothes of children next to each other that were killed since October only in Gaza by Israel. It's bad. Astaghfirullah. I'm just trying to give you a snapshot of the world we are living in. It's not about wars only. It's it's about everything around us. Uh, take a look at any accident that happens roadside. The humans that used to live on this planet Earth are, are probably no more. <coughs> what most of us would do instead of calling the emergencies or trying to help the person we would try to re record the event and and try to try to be the first ones who would get the most likes and the most views out of that event on social media everyone you would see the robots i don't know what what to call these beings living on earth talk about the education system the child as soon as a child is born he or she is made to think that you have to make money for the same purpose the child is sent to school not for the values not the main purpose is not to make that child a good human being a supportive son a supportive daughter a supportive mother we as soon as a child takes her first breath on earth the very first thing that comes to our mind the very first thing the system wants the child uh, wants from the child the very first thing the parents of the society wants from the child is that he or she will have to make money that's it that's that's what our education system is all about that's what our society is all about the governments the governments their first priority is to make money out of the people's sweat and blood everything whatever you look around us the monetary system it's made to suck suck the blood out of a common man like leeches do the currency I, I I mentioned this over and over again whenever we talk about anything any oppression I talk about this monetary oppression done through currency notes any currency note that you have in your pocket is being oppressed through the euro or the US dollar every currency note every currency around the world a common man sitting in Kenya and Pakistan in Africa or anywhere around the world has a few thousand of his for example a few thousand units of their currency notes few thousand units of their currency in their pockets and from the back the central bank or the state bank or whatever you call it the Federal Reserve Bank or whatever you call it they have the ability to change the knob the virtual knob there is no physical knob to to change the to to to, to devalue your currency and while you're sitting over here with a few thousand rupees in your pocket and without without moving a single penny out or inside of your pocket they have made you poorer in a few seconds by change by devaluing your currency and this is an oppression that you never think about 
we are living that's that's what i'm trying to say we are living at ground zero the humanity has not i would not say the humanity has not made any progress the humanity if anything has made a negative progress probably i'm being very optimistic when i'm saying the 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 the, the humanity is at ground zero probably we are we are very in depth of depths of darkness in depths of negativity and this includes everyone this includes like i'm not if you think i'm trying to make a comparison between different nations or people then then it's, it's not the thing different nations and people and religions and nations and 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 countries everyone is competing with others in the negative sense everyone wants to be richer no matter how many how much oppression you have to do everyone wants to leave others behind no matter what negativity what values he has to leave behind what what negativity he has to uh, go through and and having said that the muslims coming to the religions the muslims they have somehow developed a sense of underlying superiority in their minds let me come again that might come as a surprise to you the muslims somehow have built a sense of superiority at the back of their minds in terms of the chosen ones the people of israel used to think and still think they are the chosen ones that's why they are doing what they are doing and like we know from the sayings of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we, that that the, this ummah would go through the same paths do the same things as the previous previous nations like jews and christians did like jews had developed a sense of superior superiority they believe they are the chosen ones muslims have somehow developed the same sense of superiority religiously the same muslims when it comes to material they think they are they are lacking behind and they want to earn more material they want they want to earn more wealth but religiously they think they are the chosen ones and they would get the rewards they would get the jannah no matter what they do they would be in heavens they would be in paradise just because they are muslims and that's where it comes again to the same point that muslims have dropped themselves to the same level as they think they are superior to they have all they have dropped themselves to the same level right now there is no muslim state in the world there is no muslim government in the world when it comes to implementation of islam on the lines of what the final prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he taught they're not standing that there, there there is no muslim government in that sense there are governments of muslims 
the people, governments of people calling themselves Muslims, but there is no Muslim government. There is no Islamic system. There is no Islamic system. There is no implementation of Islam anywhere in the world. And when you talk about implementation of Islam, the only thing comes to mind is oppression, oppressing women, uh, slaughtering people and so on and so forth. That's all. That also brings you to the same same point. The system of justice, the system of peace is now pre being presented in such a way that is totally opposite, reciprocal of what it was. So the humanity is standing at ground zero if I'm being very, very optimistic. Mujib, what do you think about uh, Afghanistan? Yeah, everything. Every government around the world, Afghani either it's Afghanistan... There, there, is, there is no proper Islamic, Islamic system, no, no. Either it is Afghanistan, either it is Pakistan, either it is Saudi Arabia, Turkey or anything. There is no Islamic government. Every system is standing at ground zero because of the reasons I've told you. Yeah. Simple. There is a simple check if you want to check the so-called Islamic Emirates. What's their currency? Their currency is paper currency that that also is a system that that's basically a system of oppression yes based on banking based on banking this the currency the paper currency is not the currency of islam mm. just as the first example so my point over here is either it is the people of gaza or the people of israel there is non-existent or so-called government of um, Gaza or the government of Israel. They are at the same moral level when it comes to uh, when it comes to obeying Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Not in this war. Obviously, mm -hmm. in this war, Israel is the oppressor, and they are the oppressed ones. But talking about what the God, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what the Lord requires from humans, everyone is at ground zero. Either it is Muslims, either it is Christians, Jews, Hindus, everyone is at ground zero. Some have, some have a sort of uh, better points than others. Like Muslims believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they apparently, from at least their talk, they say that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, they do not involve them, they themselves in uh, polytheism. That's the basic requirement what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from humans. Uh, they do believe in the final, finality of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mm -hmm. as, a, as a final messenger of Allah. They ha do have positive points one over the other uh, but overall <coughs> none of them is fulfilling that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that everyone has not fulfilled the duties what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, uh, has has given them and given to them so whenever this happens, the humans fall to ground zero or below, then either Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala washes out the whole generation, whole nation, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cleans them from all over the start for example at the time of Noah alayhi salam Hazrat Noah alayhi salam he was the prophet for the whole of the mankind all of the earth people living in 
all of the earth, everyone around the globe. He called people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He called people to stop oppression. He called people to do justice. He told people uh, to be fair with each other. Have all of the values that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demands from the humans. He invited them to that, but they did not obey. And after 950 or so years, uh, he was, he, he, he went complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the people. That, Rabbi inni da'utu qawmi laylan wa nahara, falam yazidhum du'ai illa firara. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I invited people to you. O oh Allah, Falam yaz and I did that at night and during the day, all the times. Falam yazidhum du'ai illa firara. But it it didn't do any good to them. Instead, they they went worse in their uh, what do you call it? Firara, like run away in their running away from Allah's message. So finally Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala washed out all of the humans around the world except the ones who, who accepted uh, Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam, Hazrat Nuh's uh, message. And it happened again, all over again, uh, after Noah, Nuh alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent hundreds, maybe thousands of messengers and prophets. A few prophets and like uh, a few messengers and uh, more prophets, like few Rasul, Rasul and many Ambiya. So even after like lots of prophets and messengers uh, who came to uh, to to cure to purify uh, the mankind and to invite them to. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humanity fell to ground be like way below ground zero just like they are right now when the Jews tried to kill uh, Jesus alayhi salam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave some break and after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the final messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the land of Arab. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with Allah's mercy purified the mankind and established Allah's rule on earth starting from the Arab Peninsula, what do you call it? Uh, so my point over here is that there is not going to be any prophet uh, after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But what would happen when humanity as this lowest, as as their lowest? There has to be something. Either we are about to be washed out completely. Because we are at our worst, humans are at their worst, or there there is going to be a cleansing all over again. And I believe, and I, I will not say believe. I've come to know. Uh, after some uh, research and pondering upon that a combination of both is going to happen this time cleansing as well as a complete washout how would that happen if a cleansing is done if a complete washout is done how would the cleansing happen if the cleansing is done, why would the washout happen? This we will leave for the next 
discussion inshallah inshallah uh, you guys would have to remind me that we have to take it from there so i was it, it was a quite <laughs> long opening uh, but i would let you guys talk if you have something to say yeah clean cleaning and you you said washing out like um, finishing all of the muslim umma you not mean, muslim umma we are right now we are talking our audience is everyone around the globe not the muslims not only the muslims because muslims and uh, non muslims everyone is standing at the ground zero yeah yeah nobody is nobody is actually uh, the umma in the practical sense of of what Allah demands uh, from the humans it's uh, the the the, um, the muslim non muslims are mostly at the same level so we are right at the end basically this is this is the end time right now so this is this is the time for Allah to make things more clear That's yeah what you're saying but but we, <coughs> when we say it is uh, end of the times uh, i talk about when the times end what would happen right before that what would be the situation of humans uh, of earth everyone everything when the times end when the trumpet is blown we have to talk about uh, existence and happenings before that would the humans be washed out by by the trumpet or they would be washed out before that i'm talking about a cleansing as well as a wash out uh before that and the day of judgment would like sorry the trumpet would be blown on on very few people that's what i'm talking about so the end of the time would come later on we are talking about the cleansing and things yeah, before yeah. that times would end when they have to end uh, but a lot to happen before the cleansing that. in muslims cleansing all of humans all world. over all over the world all over the when allah subhanahu wa taala does some sort of cleansing and allah subhanahu wa taala sends someone to clean people everyone believing or following that cleansing process is muslim is the one who has accepted everyone else is on the same ground that yeah. so so it doesn't matter if mm-hmm. people are calling themselves jews or christians or muslims they would be checked for their allegiance to allah subhanahu wa taala through some sort of a test yeah as we can you tell us about the uh, disease uh, uh, that uh, nabi pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam talk about uh, that uh, will spread in muslims wahan can you tell us about that disease in hmm. can you explain that hadith yeah that's uh, i do understand where you are coming from we are uh, like apparently it looks like it's not the topic but uh, hisar is right that Muslims have dropped themselves uh, from being Muslims uh, because of a disease called Wuhan. The current times and uh, yeah, and uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam explained that Wuhan is uh, like the the whole uh, saying of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam goes uh, that there would be a time when. uh the nations and the people of the world would go come attacking on muslims like the people attack the the hungry people would attack uh food and the companions of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked why would be that would we be few in numbers the muslims the so called muslims would be few in numbers prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no you would be a lot just like uh what do you call it uh, the cloud uh, uh like he you will be an example a lot in numbers yeah a lot in numbers 
but you would be affected by a disease called vahan and vahan he explained is um, the love of this material dunya and the fear of death now the bilam in zalik but what is required from muslims is to avoid the material and accept the death accept the meeting you know, to meeting with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and rather uh, not be shy of or not fear the death because for a muslim um, death hmm. is basically entering uh, into the realm of uh, the other world where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will meet uh, will meet uh, the pious ones in paradise inshallah inshallah so uh, we hope inshallah this uh, discussion would go on uh, by allah's mercy and uh, we would keep on uh, talking about uh, um, the main problems the humanity is facing and the solutions uh, to that inshallah uh, we would take it from here inshallah in our uh, episode next week inshallah and see you all and everyone else next Charlotte. week assalamu alaikum